Welcome to the Genuinely You podcast channel, which is packed with advice and tips on how to live your life with purpose. Do you wish you felt happy and fulfilled? Are you feeling stuck, wishing things could be better? Are you ready to take some action and create the life you want? To start living an empowered life, you need to recognize and make full use of the power and freedom that comes from being genuinely you. Your host is Gina Gardner, a number one best-selling author whose whole life has been about supporting people to achieve personal empowerment, helping people just like you recognize that they can. A circle of excellence. Today I'm going to build on the positive anchors of last week and teach you a circle of excellence. This is particularly helpful when you don't feel you have the emotional strength to deal with a particular situation. It's borrowing somebody else's. But it works on the same principle of getting into a strong emotional state, building that up from 50 to 70 to 100% and only then triggering it, using your finger and thumb to really have that very much anchored so that you can trigger it later. If you're in a situation where you don't know what to do and you don't feel resourced, this is a time to think of the person who you think would be most able to deal with that. Now, it can be a person who's living and that you know personally, or it can be a historical figure. It can be somebody from literature. It can be somebody from a film. The important thing is that you recognize that that character, whoever it may be, has the resources, the inner resilience and confidence to deal with this situation. So on to the process. Imagine in front of you there's a large golden circle. As you step into that circle, you're going to step into being that other person. Close your eyes and just imagine that you are them. How would they stand? Would they stand very straight? Are they old or young? Are they male or female? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you're a male and you choose to model somebody who's female or the other way around. What you're after is their emotional strength. So close your eyes, arms loosely by your side, and just wriggle into being the essence of them. Breathe like them. And just get yourself to a place where you imagine that you are them. And then pose them the question, what would you do in this situation? Allow it to settle for a minute and then ask that person three pieces of advice that they would give to the person who needs help. Those pieces of advice will come. Remember those and when you come out of the circle of excellence then you can write them down. But for the moment, what we're most interested in is you having that emotional strength that you can take on by becoming that person. Remember, rack up the strength from 50%, 70%, 90%, 100 and then use your trigger, your anchor within your finger and thumb, which you are going to use to trigger off this emotional strength. Allow that to happen and then beam that advice and that strength from them into the you of today. Let the finger and thumb go, open your eyes, step out of the circle and then take in the beamed energy, the beamed confidence that that person has sent you. Jot down their advice. Of course the advice is coming from you. But what you're doing is getting past the anxiety and stress to get to the inner wisdom that is truly you. And you can model the behaviours, model the action, model that sense of strength from these other people. I have one client who decided that her character was going to be Aslam from The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. She felt that Aslam would have the wisdom and the confidence and the bravery, the courage to deal with the situation that she had to face. And once she got into Aslam energy, she felt she could do anything. Last week I was working with a guy who was really struggling. He'd been thinking about suicide. And yet 
At one time, he had been a soldier. He'd also worked with the police. And so what we found for him is he needed to get into his squaddy energy. That wasn't quite enough, so he got into the sergeant that he'd met as a squaddy energy. And the difference in him was completely transformational. And what I've heard in the last week is that he's moved from being suicidal to someone who really has a sense of control. And that when he's feeling that things are difficult, he's starting to use that anchor of being his sergeant. Now he's not there yet, he's only just started. But I would urge you, use this. 28 days to create a new neural pathway, but the circle of excellence can be used also in any situation where you need that extra bit of help. So, the power of anchoring and circle of excellence. Give it a go and please let me know how you get on. Good luck and see you next week. You've just been listening to another great Genuinely You podcast. We hope you enjoyed it. Genuinely You is a culmination of Gina's work, spanning over 30 years, of helping people learn what makes them feel happy and truly fulfilled, and how to achieve it. Please visit genuinely-you.com today to find out more.